especially between he and McWhirter. Peter and I have been mates for a long time. We have uh, been here since about what, 70, 74, 75. Uh, we've won a premiership together. He's, he's coached the reserve grade side uh, two previous years underneath me. One of them he took to a grand final. Uh, last year, I know he helped me get the side into the four. Um, he's been on the retention committee here for two years. He knows the uh, ins and outs of all the players, and he'd probably be uh, a logical choice, choice if uh, if I didn't get the job. In the light of the incidents of the last 24 hours, would you like to stay at Valleys? Uh, yeah, I'd like to stay at Valleys. I've been here 10 years. Uh, sorry, 12 years. Time flies. And uh, it's pretty hard to pick up roots and move move camps over uh, after such a long time. A lot of coaches say, though, that three or four years with one club and then you start to become stale. Do you not agree with that? No, I don't agree with that. That's <clears throat> something I really don't agree with. Uh, I've been here six years as coach and I'm just finding now that uh, with the experience I've got with the club and uh, the surroundings and the environment, when I say environment, I mean uh, the people around you, surrounding you that uh, sort of run the clubs, the supporters and all that, that I feel I could even get, you know, you could get better here, better and better rather than style. And another one of the incidents that we have spoken about at length on Sports Scene in the League segment the last couple of weeks has of course been uh, the exodus of Queensland players, in fact top Australian players, to England for the off-season. It has worried officials right to the... You can't comment too much on it. I think uh, I think the, if the committees made a decision, which they did last year, that they were going to uh, call on nominations for a coach, um, I think it's their decision. And uh, if that's what they want to do, well, that's fine by me. Um, probably the reason I wanted to make it clear uh, in the press during the week was that uh, it's not necessarily say that I would be coaching Valleys next year, which has been the case for the last six years. Uh, I, I knew well before. Um, the end of the season that you know I was going to be appointed coach of Valleys and uh, all the players that were signed up uh, knew that that was the case where this year uh, no one has approached me to, to stay at Valleys. Um, I did make a couple of overtures towards the committee to see uh, whether they wanted me there or not and uh, all I've been told is that uh, they're going to nominate and uh, put your name in and see how you go. Will you be applying? Oh, it's a bit early for me to say. Um, now that you know, this turn of events has come about, uh, it sort of makes me feel a little bit like, I, uh, like I'm probably not wanted. Um, not so much not wanted. I think what the, one of the problems that is down at Valleys is that uh, they're still struggling with their clubhouse. And I think they probably feel that uh, because we've done so well this year, uh, that maybe I'll be asking too much money. Uh, I don't really know if that's the case or not. But I'm employed down at Valleys till you know, our last game, whether it's the 30th of um, September, which we hope it is, or whether we get knocked out after the first semi. So uh, I've been employed by this committee that we've got there now until that last game. And I'm not really going to make a decision on what I'm going to do next year until uh, I fulfil my obligations to my present employer. What about player reaction in the last uh, week? Uh, it's been suggested that maybe you uh, picked your time to reveal this such that you might incite your players into a, a big effort uh, after a form slump over the last couple of weeks. Uh, how have the players responded? I haven't involved the players <coughs> one little bit and I haven't spoken to them about it. They, they only know what's going on from what they've read in the papers. Uh, one of the things that, that, I, that I've tried to make clear to the players is that uh, if they sign contracts for next year, uh, before they find out who's coach, they should, you know, they, sh they should know what's going on. Uh, anything to do with their ability to play better football than what they've been doing over the last couple of weeks, I really don't think this has got anything to do with it. Do you subscribe to the theory that uh, a coach can be at one club for uh, too great a period? <laughs> I've got to be on the opposite direction. I I've been at uh, Valleys for 12 years, six of them as a, as a coach, and I feel that I'm getting more out of players at Valleys now than what I was getting in my first couple of years. Have you had any other offers from other Brisbane clubs uh, to coach in 1985? No, I haven't, I haven't spoken to anyone yet. Um, and as I say, I won't do so until um, I've fulfilled my obligations to Valleys. What about the problems with Valleys at the moment? We might call them problems. A, a fairly heavy defeat from Brothers uh, last weekend. Uh, not such a bad performance against East the week before, but still not a win. Um, are we looking for an improvement this week against uh, Northern Suburbs? Yeah, I don't feel our form's all that bad. Uh, <clears throat> every time we've been beaten this year, except for the one against uh, East, have been thrashings. Uh, here we are coming third in the competition. I think our uh, points against is uh, weighs very heavily against our points for. 
um, most tries, most points scored. I think we're coming second last on the on the uh, on the on the on the card with all that, but we're still in third spot. So uh, you know, if you're going to get beat, I'd rather get beat by 20 or 30 points like brothers beat us. So we've got something to work on for the next week. Then then get beat the way we did against each where we thought we should have won. So we've got nowhere to improve. What about uh, the value of a uh, coach in Brisbane? Where, where do you rate the value of the coaches in Brisbane uh, as far as monetary terms goes without sort of giving away what you think uh, you might get at Valleys or wherever else you might coach next year? Well, anywhere in business, there's a formula. You know, there's a formula for, um, you know, if you sell a business, there's a formula if you want a sales rep. Uh, I think there's got to be a formula for, uh, for coaches. And I Is know, that based on success? I, th I think it's got to be based on success. And also, it's pretty hard for a coach to, uh, which in the case of probably someone like Wally Lewis uh, would be an exception, but a coach should be at least paid the same amount of money as the highest paid player. What about your aspirations as a representative coach? With Arthur Beetson leaving next year, Bob McCarthy undecided, uh, would you consider yourself an applicant for one of the uh, rep jobs next year? Oh, that's a hard one. I, I really don't know about uh, rep jobs. I'd like to get a couple more years' experience under my belt. Uh, like like coaching A grade for the first time, I think uh, you've got to have a bit of experience. And when you do it, I'd like to be there for a long time. Like coaching valleys for six years or seven years or how long it's going to be. Uh, if I was to get the Brisbane side or I was to get the uh, Queensland side, which every coach looks for, I'd like to be doing it for five or six years as well. And if you go in there too young and without the experience, and uh, you don't do the right job first time up, you, know, you might not get another chance. And yet, four years time, you might be a better coach. Right, Ross, looking uh, toward the finals now and accepting the fact that uh, you'll make uh, third position, the only way I could see you missing out, even by losing to, would be for Winner Mandy to lose two straight, which is just about impossible. So accepting the fact that you'll end up in third spot, uh, who do you see as your main danger for that fourth spot with it being up for grabs between uh, Brothers East and Redcliffe? Well, <clears throat> the only side I don't think we can beat convincingly would be Redcliffe. So uh, we're sort of hoping Redcliffe don't make it. Uh, Brothers, we've already beaten twice this year. Uh, East have beaten us uh, two out of three, but I think we can beat East. We showed that the other day. Uh, we played as, as good as football as them, but Redcliffe, I don't know, they, over the last couple of years they seem to have the wood on us. They, they play pretty similar football to us and they seem to get the edge on us every time. So uh, when it comes to that fourth spot, uh, Brothers or East will do us. One last thing, uh, Russell Klein, the suspension of Russell Klein, your captain, out for three weeks. Uh, that's obviously going to be a big blow coming into the finals. Well, it took a lot of uh, a lot out of our back line. Uh, our halfback, well, Ross Hendricks, has got a ton of experience. Um, from him, you get Peter Coyne, half a dozen first grade games. Um, the, the two centres, one's probably had six first grade games. Uh, the other centre, Grant Ricks, first year in A grade. Uh, both wingers, first year in A grade, and we've got a fullback who's uh, been up and down all year. And the average age of our back line, taken Ross Hendricks out of it. He's 19 years of age, which has got to be the youngest side I've ever coached in my life. So, yeah, you know, we're going to miss Russell uh, tremendously, but I'm hoping that Rossi Hendricks can take over that job. And I'm He'll be the sure captain, will he? No, Robbie Moore will be captain, but I'm expecting uh, Rossi to uh, do the <laughs> his <laughs> job. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah uh, Robbie Moore's been vice captain all year, and he's done a pretty good job. Uh, the obvious choice is Rossi Hendricks as, uh, as captain. But I'm pretty sure he understands the situation and uh, I just hope that uh, he, will, he will do Russell Klein's job without you know, having the title of being captain. OK, well, thanks, Ross, and good luck in the finals. Thanks very much. Well, Mick, what do you think? Do you think uh, Strutty has pulled the keep and uh, timed his release? Oh, I don't think so. He's uh, keeping all his options open. He talked for a long, long time there, but didn't tell us too much, if you know. Uh, Strutty, if you don't end up with a uh, coaching job for Valleys next year, you ought to run for a politician's spot somewhere because you did a great job there. No, uh, he, he's a, a very, very able coach, and uh, you never take him lightly. If you do, you'll end up on the losing side, no doubt about it. And, uh, oh, I don't know, you possibly could see him coaching Valleys next year. There's a lot of things going on, rumours and all sorts of things that you just can't talk about on a show like this. But uh, given his opportunity and chance, he'll be in there. And I tell you what, I wouldn't like to be north uh, this afternoon when Valleys run out there. Even though they'll miss Klein dreadfully, I think they'll be G'd up enough and uh, this sort of thing. He uses this, he's a great strategist, he'll use this to G Valleys up this afternoon. I think you're right, Mick, and of course Strudwick has done a good job this year. He's got uh, Valleys in third spot. Uh, a lot of talk at the beginning of the year that uh, he'd lost Lewis, 
and he'd also lost Brian Niebling, but he's uh, done the job for the diehards, and it'll be very interesting to see just where he does end up in 1985. Well, today on the Rugby League Show, we'll...